In this video we'll examine various ways in which a UX component can display content in different kinds of uh, pop-up windows. So you can see we're running a uh, component here and uh, we've got a whole bunch of different buttons that are going to display content in windows. So we're going to go through these various buttons and then look later on at how the uh, buttons were configured. So the first button is going to display a map in an action sheet. So an action sheet is defined as a window that uh, um, animates up from the bottom of the screen. It's docked to the bottom of the screen and you can see how's our map that is shown and then we can just tap anywhere uh, on the background of the uh, page and then the map will go away. So the next uh, button shows a drop-down list in a window. So you can see there's our drop-down list and there's our list that's going against um, SQL Server Northwind showing the customer table. And there's our list and then if we basically click anywhere off the list, the uh, window goes away. The next button shows a drop-down window with a uh, map control and it's going to show a pointer, a marker for the city that I've got. got um, in this text box. So click on the uh, button and there's uh, Chicago and the button is the map marker is showing and it's animated. If I click off the uh, the background you can see the window goes away. Let's go here and just type in uh, London England and hit the drop down map and now you can see the drop down map is showing uh, London then uh, this button is going to uh, cause a uh, window to fly in from the left hand side with a list of choices on it. So this could be uh, menu choices and if I click say on item 2 the window goes away and it tells me what item I clicked on. And then finally we have this uh, button which opens a drop down form where I can type in some values and then click the OK button and then the window goes away. So. Um, we have uh, different buttons here showing pop-up content in different styles of windows. So let's go back to the builder now and see how all this is done. So if we go to the builder here we can see we have a panel card and then inside the panel card we have the various buttons that we've been clicking on. We have an address control over here which displays the uh, address uh, with a default value of Chicago. And then underneath the panel card you can see we have all these containers here and these containers have a subtype of window. So when you place a container on the UX component you can see that one of the available subtypes for the container is a window. So let's cancel out of this and now let's look at these various windows. So the first window here uh, contains a map control. So there's the map control that's inside this window. And then if we go look at this map control you can see we've set it um, to number one to fill the container. So uh, whatever the size is of this container this map control is going to fill the container. Then um, the button over here which displays the window has simply been set using Action JavaScript to uh, show a container window. So if we go here and edit this action we can see that um, the action simply specifies the ID of the container window which in this case was container number 4. And uh, next let's go and look at how the window itself was configured. So here's the window, uh, window container 4 and then here's window properties and you can see here in the window properties we've configured the uh, window. So we specified that this window is docked. It's docked to the bottom of the screen, that its height is 50%, that it has a close button, etc. So the behavior of the window was all configured in the uh, window properties over here. So the next window was this um, uh, menu um, which popped up from the right hand side. So let's go look at the window properties here. So we can see that this time we have again a, uh, a drop down window and it's docked and this time it's docked to the left hand side of the, uh, uh, of the screen and it's animated and the animation style is a CSS uh, transformation slide from left. Now the contents of this window is just a list control and this list control is configured to fill the screen and uh, let's now pause and then pick it up in the next video where we look at how the list controls are actually defined.
So we're continuing our discussion about window containers and now uh, we're looking at this list menu here. So the list control itself was just defined to be a static list of choices. So there's the choices items 1, item 2, item 3, item 4 and the column heading is called menu and then if we go to our list properties you can see we've got a freeform list and then the list layout just simply says uh, menu. So um, then we've also specified uh, as I pointed out earlier that this particular list uh, is going to fly in from the left hand side. So let's go look at this again quickly uh, in working preview. Go there and click on the menu and you can see it animates in from the left hand side and then when I make my selection the uh, window uh, gets closed down. So the way that the window got closed down is if we go back to our list control here and then look at uh, list properties we can see that in the on click event we're calling a JavaScript function called close window and if we go and look at the definition of close window we can see that um, first before we look at the definition let's go back to this window here and we can see that we've given this window an explicit name called menu window so that's important now when we go to our JavaScript function and look at close window we can see that what we're doing is we're calling the get window method uh, to get a pointer um, to um, the window and then we're going to go ahead now and uh, hide the window and then we're also going to specify we're going to put an alert up that tells us um, what item in the list we clicked on so we're using the uh, di the UX component um, get value method and we're going to get a value from the list so if we right click there we can go list controls list menu and then menu is the item that we'd like to get the value of and then we just simply go ahead here and do an alert to um, display the item so we'll go here now click on the menu uh, click on an item and then the window is closed down and then the alert comes up that tells us what item that we clicked on so now let's go and take a look at um, how the drop down list uh, was configured so here's the list showing uh, data from the Northwinds uh, customer table this is a SQL query so we'll go back now to controls and we can see here that the drop down list is uh, displaying um, the uh, contents of uh, a window called drop down list and if we go here to drop down list we can see that this window has been configured as a drop down we've set a specific height of three inches and a width of three inches and we've also specified that this window has a pointer icon so uh, uh, that's how we got this little pointer over here which uh, displays underneath the button this little pointer here was configured by that uh, property and now inside the list itself let's go look at the uh, the um, the list which is a uh, list drop down over there we can see that this is um, based on a SQL query we're going against the Northwinds database we're choosing uh, data from the customers table over there we're going to uh, retrieve these columns from the customer table We've specified that we'd like to have a freeform layout uh, for the list and then we've gone to uh, the list layout and we've chosen a template. So this template over here which looks complicated was actually defined by just simply making a selection from this list of uh, built-in templates. So we happen to choose this template and then once we chose the template we just filled in these placeholders with uh, fields from the actual uh, query so you can see that in the template we filled we've replaced those square bracket placeholders here with uh, controls that come from our actual query so um, the list itself was easily configured and then of course um, the uh, button here to display the list was done uh, just as all the other buttons were done so when we go ahead here and then click the button we see the pop-up window show up over here and there's the list uh, showing up over there so let's pause now and pick this up in the next video so we're continuing our discussion on container windows and now let's go back now and look at uh, the last uh, button which is the uh, drop-down form so when we click uh, the drop-down form button over here we get a little drop-down form with some controls and then an OK and cancel button 
So this was done again uh, in the same pa the same pattern. We have a container, and then inside the container we have the controls. We have first name and last name, both of which have been set to a hundred percent. Then we have the OK and cancel button on the same line, and these have both been set to fifty percent. The actual window is configured over here, so we've set the window to be a three inch width and we've removed the height property completely so that the window now is automatically sized to the uh, to its content. Again, we've chosen the drop down window style and we've turned on the has pointer and we've also turned off uh, is resizable and um, then when we go to the actual button that opens up the window that's just done through Action JavaScript. We can see here that it, we're using the show container window action and the window that we want to show is a form window over there. So what we've shown over here is how um, you can create um, uh, content that is displayed in pop-up windows in the UX component. These pop-up windows can be configured in many different ways. They can be configured as drop-downs, drop-downs with pointers, as action sheets that are docked to the bottom of the screen or action sheets that fly in from the left or the right, etc. So there's a great deal of flexibility in how the actual windows are configured and then uh, the content that is placed in these uh, containers with the property of uh, window uh, the 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 window the windows themselves are displayed by having a button that uses the action JavaScript action called uh, show container window. So there's a great deal of flexibility here in how to show content in pop-up windows in a UX component. Thanks very much for watching.